Hi friends, welcome to my video on Blossom 62 matrix and how do we use this matrix to calculate max scores for protein to protein sequence alignments as done in BLAST-P. Hope you enjoyed my earlier video on gap and max score calculations in BLAST-N for the nucleotide sequences. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and comment. BLAST-P is one of the standard BLAST programs to compare and score pairwise alignments of two amino acid sequences. It uses Blossom 62 matrix by default. Other matrices like PAM are also available under BLAST algorithm parameters and can be used. So let's first understand what is Blossom 62 and how it was created. Blossom or Blocks Substitution Matrix is a table of scores calculated from multiple alignment of amino acid sequences. It was constructed by Hanikoff and Hanikoff in 1992. They took data from more than 500 groups of proteins from blocks database of protein families and used around 2000 ungapped blocks of conserved regions for their calculations. So quite a lot of data. First step was to create a multiple sequence alignment or MSA of conserved sequences using clustering method. Each cluster was treated as an average sequence. While clustering, they avoided using identical sequences which may create bias towards a particular protein. Rather, they use sequences showing identity from 45% to 90%. These identity values show how sequences might have diverged during evolution. In second stage, the pairs of amino acid were counted directly from each column of the MSA and the probabilities of a certain amino acid to change into another amino acid were calculated. One amino acid can change into another due to insertion and deletion mutations in DNA sequences during evolution. These changes are termed as substitution and Blossom therefore is a substitution matrix. Next, log odd ratio calculations were performed resulting in values which make Blossom matrix. Percentage identity among amino acid sequences decides the matrix type. For example, Blossom 62 has been derived from amino acid sequences which show 62% identity, hence the name. Why BLAST uses Blossom 62 as default matrix? Comparison of the efficiencies of different matrices showed that Blossom 62 works better than any other Blossom matrices and PAM matrices. This is why BLAST-P uses Blossom 62 as a default matrix. Now let us have a look at Blossom 62 matrix. Here we can see a rectangular table of 20 by 20 with single letter amino acid codes written in all four direction. And uh, if you don't understand the single letter code for amino acid, this is the table showing the names of 20 amino acids and their three letter and single letter codes. We can read scores going bottom to up or left to right very conveniently in this matrix. In fact, you can read these codes from any direction. We also use different colored zones. Uh, each zone includes amino acid with similar physical chemical properties. Hence a change or substitution of an amino acid within the same group will most likely not receive a negative value. For example, aspartic acid or D and glutamic acid or E both have similar properties. Hence their substitution score is a positive two. The numbers in bold at the diagonal represent values given to identity match. For example, if both sequences have proline or P, the score will be positive 7. The next important point is that even the values given to identical amino acids are not the same. For example, a serine to serine match, which is S, receives the score of 4, whereas a tryptophan or W versus tryptophan match receives 11. Why so? It is because these scores were calculated based on the natural frequencies of amino acid occurrence. This means if an amino acid or residue is present in a protein sequence with high frequency, it will be given less weightage and score. 
whereas a residue rarely found in natural protein sequences will be given higher weightage and score like tryptophan. Let's see how BLAST uses Blossom62 for match and substitution score calculation. Here is an example of two aligned amino acid sequences. Using Blossom62 matrix, I have written the scores below them. For identical amino acids, we took scores from diagonal. For substitution, we checked the scores for the corresponding matches like N and E scored 0. If two amino acids share similar or somewhat similar physical chemical properties like both are basic or acidic in nature or both are hydrophobic, they either receive a 0 or a positive score which is lower than the identity score. Leucine or L versus isoleucine or I scored a plus 2 which indicates their similar properties. However, isoleucine and glycine score minus 4 due to their dissimilar physical chemical properties. Isoleucine is a nonpolar uncharged hydrophobic amino acid. Glycine is also a nonpolar hydrophobic amino acid but its other properties are very different from isoleucine. In BLAST-P, the alignment example here, identities are shown as a letter in the middle sequence. Substitution with similar physical chemical properties and a positive score are shown as a plus sign. And those with dissimilar properties are shown as null. BLAST-P uses these kind of calculations to generate max scores. However, please note that there were no gaps in this example. If there are any gaps present in either of the two sequences, BLAST-P will score the gaps using gap existence and gap extension penalties. We had learnt about gaps and gap cost calculation in my last video. I am providing its link in the description box, please watch. If gaps are present, their values are calculated using the formula A plus BN where default A value for amino acid is 11 and B value is 1. N is the number of gaps introduced as single indel event. In this screenshot, you can notice 4 independent gaps, 3 with N equals to 1 and 1 with N equals to 4. BLAST-P calculates the gap cost values to account for any gap if present like in this example and then adds this value to match and substitution scores to get max scores. A max score is a score of single best aligned sequence, whereas the total score is the sum of scores of all alignment sequences. I have explained these two scores and their calculation in my earlier videos on BLAST-N and BLAST-P. Links for these videos have been given in the description. Hope you understood and liked this information. In my next video, I'll be discussing about what are transitions and transversions and how to use transition transversion matrix in nucleotide score calculation. See you soon. Thank you very much.